Hello, welcome to your video intro on proportions. In this video, you will be able to identify proportions or non-proportions from equations, tables, rates, and ratios. So the first thing we need to do is talk about what a proportion is. Um, as you know, there's a long list, so here we go. Uh, a proportion, you can actually see this as an equivalent fraction. Um, so for example, if I have um, one-third and two-sixths, those are equivalent fractions. They are, are also proportional. Um, so make sure you get that example down. Um, next one is that it is y equals kx. It is direct variation. Um, and so you can solve for k by getting rid of x. So then you end up with y over x equals k. It is slope. And slope we've talked about is the change in y over the change in x. Proportions are also a straight line linear, is what that means, or line R, if you want to remember it. Um, and it goes through the origin, which is 0, 0. I'm going to run out of space here. Um, it is a part to whole relationship. Um, so you can think of it comparing a part to a whole. Um, and that has to do going back to the fractions. Um, for example, one third, um, the part and the whole um, aspect there uh, was a way you can see that. And then lastly, a proportion compares two numbers. How do I find proportions from an equation is the first question that we are going to address. Um, so if you're given an equation like this one, y equals 3 fourths x, how do you write the equation? Well, we know that y equals kx. So we know just from looking that 3 fourths is k. And we know that k is always written as y over x. Um, so I know then that it's 3 over 4 for k. Um, y is 3 and x is 4. So then I can use that information like a fraction, um, and oftentimes it'll be asking you to expand this out. Um, so find the next point or um, find another coordinate or something like that. Um, so then you can find that missing one. We'll say x was 12 and you're missing your y value, um, and you can figure that out based on equivalent fractions. So going from 4 to 12 and multiplied by 3, so then 3 times 3, y would in this case be 9. Um, again, you could scale it down to, um, it's just whatever they end up giving you. How do I find proportions from a table? Um, we have two different types of situations. The blue one is where you're trying to find um, a value, and then the green table is when you're trying to find if two are proportional or not. Um, and we've actually done things like the green table before. So we'll do the green or the blue one first, and we'll save the green one for after. Um, so in this case, it says you want to find the proportion. Um, so what you're going to do is make a y over x ratio column, um, and then you're going to make 8 over 3, and then 40 over what number we don't know that's x. Um, you know from your equation that it's y equals kx. Um, k is 8 thirds then. So you're really breaking down this fraction into 8 thirds. Um, and you can see that as equivalent because k has to be constant. Because our equation here is going to be y equals 8 thirds x. Um, so 40 over x is 8 over 3, and then you want to find what that missing value is. Um, you can think about it as a fraction. Um, if I were to reduce this down, I divided by 5 to get my answer. So what number divided by 5 will give me 3? Well, that answer is 15. So 15 is that missing value. Um, green table here. Same thing, whenever you see a table, you'll want to make your y over x ratio column. So 7 over 4 and then 6 over 3. Reduce these down, we get 1.75 over 1. 
and then this one is actually 2 over 1, and you can see that these are not the same, so this is not proportional. Um, if y over x was the same, then it would be proportional. Uh, the next question is, how can I find proportions from a rate or a ratio? Here's your example. Um, you have 60 miles to 10 hours, and if you remember, our ratio that we're working with is y over x, so this is y and this is x, because I can write um, a ratio using a colon, using a fraction, or using the word two, um, in any of those ways, y always comes first. Um, so my y over x ratio is going to be 60 miles over 10 hours. Now, when we're dealing with proportions, you're going to have to expand this out. So it'll give you some more information about miles and hours. Um, the labeling piece is really, really helpful, so you don't want to forget to do that. Um, and in this case, you can see um, that 60 miles to 10 hours reduces to 6 miles per 1 hour. Um, and then you can go from there based on what they're asking. Uh, the last piece. How do I know if two quantities are proportional is the last question. So on um, like your IXL that you've done, um, J6 and J7, I believe, um, these types of questions will appear. Are these proportional? Um, what you can do, you have two options. First thing is you want to see that this is written Y over X. So we're going to make these look like fractions. So 4 over 18 and 7 over 21. Um, you can reduce these fractions down. Um, that's probably the fastest method. So you're going to see 2 ninths and then reduce this down. Um, 7 goes into both. It would be 1 third. Um, and it, you can see that if you're not sure if these are equivalent or not, you can even find a common denominator. Um, in this case, we'll go with 27 just because that's quick and easy. Um, 9 times 3 is 27, so 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 9 is 27, so 1 times 9 is... And then you can obviously see that these are not proportional because they're not the same number. The other option you have is to find the unit rate of both. So it would be over 1 in both instances. Um, so 7 divided by 21 and 4 divided by 18. Um, and if those numbers in the numerator are the same, they would be proportional. If they're different, they would be non-proportional. Right, it is your turn. Um, 4 to 210 and 6 to 280. Is this proportional or not? Go ahead and show all of your work. Picking one of the two methods, either reducing the fraction down or finding the unit rate. This is the end of your video. Please enter the your turn you just completed on the Google form that is located on my website under today's date. Thank you for watching.